Meanwhile, Elon Musk's controversial Neuralink is ready to test its brain chip implants on humans. Now, the tech billionaire Musk announced Neuralink has re received approval from an independent review board to begin recruitment for the first human trial of its brain implant for paralysis patients. Now, launched in 2016, Neuralink got the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's approval for human trials earlier this year. And now the brain implant company has obtained approval from an independent review board as well. Neuralink can now start its recruitment process for the inaugural human trial of its brain implant chip. Now, ever since its launch, Neuralink has faced intense scrutiny over alleged animal cruelty, safety hazards and overambitious claims. Musk claims the brain chip interface will one day restore mobility in cases of severe spinal injury, cure Parkinson's and keep humans relevant in a world dominated by AI. According to media reports, patients with paralysis due to cervical spinal cord injury or emetrophic lateral scleros sclerosis may qualify for the trial. The company has not disclosed how many people will be enrolled in the trial. The initial goal of Neuralink is to grant paralyzed patients the ability to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts. Now, Neuralink researchers will use a robot to surgically place the implant in a part of the brain that controls movement. The trial is expected to take six years to complete, according to experts. Even if the Neuralink chip, chip proves to be safe for human use, it would still potentially take more than a decade for the startup to secure commercial use clearance for it. Now the question remains, if required, would you let Elon Musk implant a device in your brain?